Hello and welcome to Polish Teach English channel. Recently I've cleaned my closet and that's a great beginning of a new project. Hello and welcome to Polish Teach English channel. Recently I've cleaned my closet and that's a great beginning of a new project. I got some sweaters made of fine knitwear. They will no longer be worn, so I will cut them into squares of 15 by 15 centimeters. All sections are straight. We work carefully so that the hinges do not move. This is a thin knitted fabric made on a knitting machine. We lay the resulting squares by color. Make a preliminary layout and outline the sewing lines. I arrange them in rows of 9 by 9 squares. And I will sew vertically. We do not break the threads, we collect everything in length like a garland. We have a special needle for knitwear. We lay the seam at a distance of a width of the foot. We sew zigzag. Stitch length is 4 mm. Zigzag width is 2 mm. This is so that our seam does not burst. You see just these assembled rows. And we got such a connection. All squares are held by strings. Now we will sew the horizontal rows. I have knitwear of different densities and I do not struggle with it. I straighten the seams in different directions. We do not break the threads, all joints and seams are kept on them. We get such a canvas. Have a look at how the connection goes. This is how we put together the top of the blanket. It's similar to making a sandwich. I laid down the blue fabric. It will be the back side. Then a layer of padding polyester, then our patchwork piece. So, and one more addition. We use safety pins, which hold well and which will not open during the quilting process. I think you understand that when you work with knitwear, you need to make sure that the loops are not going to disappear. Therefore, we make all cuts only in a straight line. Also, I sewed a patchwork from knitwear earlier and please take into account all the features of the stitching that I showed in this video. The line must be exactly zigzag, because otherwise it can burst. So, make the width of the stitch so that the needle captures all the loops as often as possible, so that they stay all in this thread, on this seam, and do not get misplaced. My dear subscribers, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for writing such wonderful comments, for helping the channel. I read all the comments and I'm very pleased to communicate with you. It matters a lot. I cut off the excess fabric and we fold the free edge of the blue fabric to the front side. Turn it up and make the edging. I sew this blanket by hand. In the corners I just make a few stitches pulling all the layers together. The work is ready. I made a very cute, wonderful blanket from old sweaters. Let me know how you like the idea and share your results in the comments. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.